the public. Terrible. It looks terrible. It's not just that the speaker made a mess of his own expenses, which we know about, and lives in his palace but has second homes and things. Um, it's also that he tried to keep it quiet. Now, surely, Sir Stuart, if he had any nouse at all as a speaker, and if he was a symbol of the democracy that we all respect and love, he would have years ago have said to you all, we've got to do something about this and we've got to be transparent. Well, he did. He did. The transparent? Freedom, uh, no, he did. The Freedom of Information Act, the House of Commons, agreed that they would publish the expenses in accordance with the Freedom of Information Act. The Freedom of Information Commissioner agreed that. What and did we agreed. I'll for? tell you why. We agreed it with the Commissioner. The Commissioner's decision uh -huh. to agree with our expenditure plans and the publication was actually opposed by others. And they appealed the decision of the commissioner, and that's why it ended up. We wouldn't in the know court. any of this if it wasn't for the Daily Telegraph. We no, would you, not, you would actually. We would not have known any of your second homes. You would not know the detail. We would know the detail, but that's not what we would not know about the detail, and it matters because it's, because it's the first time. Your position. You're yes. here because you say you're going to stand. You are going to stand, or you're not going to stand. You're thinking about standing against the MP in Luton South. Absolutely, but it depends on whether the voters in Luton South want me. I'm not going what to. Is the, what is the problem with politics that you know, saving your presence as superannuated TV neighbour can solve it? At this point, I remember Robin Day said something similar to John Knott, and he walked out. How dare you? No, but what is Just it? What is it that I'm you? But yes. what, what is it that you can offer yes. that a p p party political MP can't offer? Independence. You see, I can look at the Speaker. I'm not Labour, Liberal, Tory. I'm a floating voter. I can look at the Speaker. I'm not criticising him because he's working class or Scottish. I'm criticising him because he's lousy at the job. And as long as he's there, you will have a terrible spokesperson. Well, first of all, the House of Commons and, and Richard may have a good point. Yeah. The House of Commons will decide the future of the Speaker. That will come. It may not come this week. I don't think it will. It may come after the recess. Mm -hmm. It will certainly come when Harriet Harman puts before the House resolutions which are approved, because then the Speaker may then decide, and it's up to him to decide, he's done his bit, he's done what he needs to do for the House of Commons, and he will make his own mind up. He's so let's not... Uh, uh, Richard the Shepherd, you just looked, today. when the name Harriet Harman was mentioned, you looked as if you were about to pass out or wretch or something. No, no, What's I, the problem? I, everything she touches turns to dust <laughs> almost is, um, but it, it's not that. Do you feel... Yes. You heard all these arguments, they're distressing. <laughs> this is the People's Parliament. It's not just the possession of Sir Stewart and myself or Mr Martin. It's the peoples and, and this is a continuum through our history and what we're watching now is it's really on its back foot dealt with in total contempt now by public largely and there with like uh, alien Arby far the, the, the farce goes on and the piano tuners are in there and the government is going to do this and all this nonsense it's not Absolutely. calibrated it's not sensible do you fear that there are going to be more people like esther rats well, more independence I, I think it's maybe fear maybe fear is the wrong word maybe well, you uh, look, be enthusiastic we, about we've it we've seen this beginning to happen the government minister that couldn't even stand up for his local hospitals we now have an independent of the house of commons because he stood up for something believed in something and i've met a number of people who have said people distinguished people people with careers outside Parliament, who say well, for, the, wouldn't touch it. for the first time now, they think there's a real role for an independent MP to come in, someone without this baggage, without this track record. You know, I don't think I'm better than you, gentlemen. Baggage, I think, I think I'm right. different, in that I come from a world where we do consumer investigations and we bring them to the public. We want the public to be involved in decision making. And what you get with that, and I'm afraid, Stuart, with what your answer revealed, is a sort of internal ritual, a sort of jargon. He should be going now when the debate is on. He should be standing up and saying, I understand what's happening. four years ago to be able Stuart, to be do you in think, that Stuart Bell, do you think he will go? Well, I think that there's every possibility that he will go. Before the, I, before the election? Uh, well, he may go before the election. He may take the view, and I give this as a personal view rather than a, sure. a, another thing, that once these resolutions have gone through the House, which the leader of the uh, House will put through, if we don't use her name, since Richard doesn't like it, those resolutions are put through, and he could say, I've done my bit, I've put these resolutions through, I've brought the, le the leading parties together, and I can sail into the sunset. Now, I'm not saying he will say that, but I'm saying that's a possibility. That's why he didn't give a date for his departure. Right. And just briefly, do you favour deselection? 
of well, MPs who are found to have broken the rules? It's up to every constituency Labour Party and every constituency Labour Party well, What's in the your country. personal view? Well, I don't know if they have broken the rules. I'm only going by what I read in the Telegraph, but there will be a severe sanction either within the Labour Party and they should be sanctioned. or the electorate. Either the Labour Party will sort out its problems this, or the electorate will. Uh, okay. this, this isn't helping anyone in a sense, is it? We will face an election probably sooner than later. It's within 12 months and every one of us will be accountable to an electorate and we'll have to defend okay. our own conduct. All right, we'll see whether you're standing then. Yeah. Yes, okay, thank you all very much indeed. Now, there are further revelations in tomorrow morning's uh, Daily Telegraph.